Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, I am Ashley. I'm the owner of this gorgeous Darling Boutique. And this YouTube channel is kind of, I talk here about the boutique, I talk about beauty, I talk about motherhood, I talk about all the things. So if that sounds like your jam, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, after you've watched it, give me a thumbs up. This is a new platform for me. We have built our following on Facebook for the most part. Um, starting to work on Instagram now and so YouTube is like a whole different beast so I would love it if you guys would subscribe and so today's video is going to be a review on the Vino subscription box um, it's a quarterly subscription wine box or a wine subscription box um, but it doesn't just come with wine it comes with other like a little gift box in it too and I was up late at night one night working and super stressed out and this this coupon came through my email at like the exact moment to hit me with an impulse buy so I bought a year subscription because that was like the best deal plus I had a coupon code if I I will look on my account if I have like a coupon code or a referral code or something for you guys to use I will put that in the description box maybe you guys can get um, the same deal that I got so I'm not even going to lie you guys I am I am not even going to pretend like I am good at doing these review posts. It's kind of blowing my mind right now how other YouTubers can have enough self-control to not bust open their subscription boxes when they get them and wait until they can film and do like these unboxing. I don't have that kind of self-control. Let me know in the comments if you guys think you could hold out or if you are like me and you just like tear right into your packages whenever they come in the mail. I did hold out for like four days and then we had a birthday party for my son on Sunday. Two of my sons actually. Uh, my oldest and my youngest. My oldest turned 12, my youngest turned four and we had family members over and they saw this box on my countertop and I was like no I'm not gonna open it. I'm waiting to do a video about it and they're like can you just open the box? I just want to see what's inside. So I opened the box. I gave away one of the bottles of wine to my sister already. I'm using the water bottle that came in it. I'm a hot mess, you guys. And I don't even just mean like the cute kind of hot mess. I mean actual train wreck hot mess express. But most of the box is still intact. So I'm going to do a review on it and let you guys know what I thought. Show you what's in it. Um, on top of me busting into this box already, I poured coffee on it as I was bringing it into the office this morning. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this, shall we? So obviously the first thing I already showed you guys, this is a glass water bottle. This came in the box. This is from Plum and Punch, which it had a little tag on it that said Hallmark. So I'm assuming that this is um, a brand that is carried by the Hallmark company. Uh, and it's you know it's nice it's big it's glass so I'm a little bit nervous about it we have tight like hard tile floors in the kitchen I'm a little bit nervous about one of the kids knocking it off of the counter and it's smashing but you know I'll probably just keep this at the office and use this at work um, but yeah I've been wanting to drink more water anyway so it's great it's good it's a water bottle it does its job it functions as a water bottle and it's pretty so good Moving on. So when you open the box, you can see this is the one I dumped coffee on, my Starbucks Cloud Macchiato. P.S. If you have not tried the Cloud Macchiato yet, you need to. I get mine with the cinnamon and I do it with almond milk instead of regular milk and it's the bomb.com. I like it better cold than hot but either is fantastic. My new favorite. Let me know if you've tried it. <clears throat> I'm like walking around telling everybody that they need to try the Starbucks Cloud Macchiato. So this is like the um, like gift box, I guess, that comes in it. It's a smaller box and you open it up. Keep in mind, I have already tore into this and it has stuff in it. It has like goodies in it, okay? And then there are these cards that show that tell you about what everything is. Um, so one of the items that I got in there is another water bottle from the Hallmark Company, but this one is ceramic, and it's really adorable. It has this like wildflower 
um, print on it and I love that it's ceramic I just think that's so pretty so there's like a little info card here on um, the ceramic water bottle it's 20 ounces um, so yeah it just has information about Hallmark as a company and then specifically about this bottle next up I got these earrings okay next up these earrings um, they come in this little drawstring pouch they are from the company Jewel Smith um, okay and they are these cute hoop thingies so these are the earrings that came with it I'm trying to scooch a little bit closer so you guys can see those are the earrings so these are cute um, I would totally wear these they're nice I'll try them on and show you guys what they look like okay so you can see there's like a smaller gold hoop and then a larger gold hoop that's like free floating kind of thing uh, they're cute I like them okay next up Hemp's Citrine Crystal and Quartz Body Buff. This body buff will leave your skin with a radiant glow. The quartz dust gives skin a subtle gemstone glow, smoothing the skin and reducing the appearance of imperfections. Massage daily over wet skin and then rinse. The sparkling crushed exfoliators leave skin feeling smooth and rejuvenated while the citrus oil soothe both the body and mind. This is paraben cruelty and gluten free, um, and it's from the company Hemp's. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Let's see what it smells like. It smells really good. It has like a citrusy, um, it reminds me of something. It's citrusy, but it's reminding me of something else I can't think of, but yeah, it, it's kind of like, um, maybe like an ap apricot scent. I just got some on my lip. Like I said, you guys, I'm a mess. Moving on. Biz and Wheezy Confections Artis Artisan Chocolates. Okay, my husband already busted into these. When I opened this box, he already ate one. I'm not really a huge sweets person. Um, I kind of, I'm the kind of person that will keep chocolate on hand and it stays like in my cabinet until I just have a wild hair and need to have some chocolate. Um, so these will probably go to my husband. Um, they are artisan chocolates, there's uh, chocolate caramel, salted caramel, lavender, that's interesting, I almost want to try that just to see what that tastes like, and then Bailey's and espresso, um, that's kind of my jam, so I lied, I might use these, or I might eat these myself after all. Oh, and they have like, cute little designs on them. <clears throat> Okay, next up, Plum and Punch. So that's more of the Hallmark uh, line. There is a little sticky note set. So they come in this little cork divider and it's a little sticky note set that have different sayings on them. Uh, one that says, right on, one that says, on a roll, one says, hey girl, and one says, no heckin' way. So that's cute if you like stationery. I'm not a huge stationery person. I'm kind of super basic when it comes to that stuff, but it doesn't hurt to have, I guess. I'm so basic, you guys. <laughs> okay, now on to the exciting stuff, the wine. Like I said, I did already give a bottle of the wine to my sister. We uh, busted it open, and it was a red Zinfandel, which I had never tasted a red before. I'd seen white Zinfandel, and I'd seen like a pink Zinfandel, but I've never seen a red, and it was really dark. I will say it was very sour and tart, um, and that's not really my jam. Um, and that kind of surprised me being a California wine. 
I'm from Western New York and we have a wine region here called the Finger Lakes wine region and those wines tend to be either really tart or really sweet but not like dry they kind of they tend to be more like dessert wines and this wine kind of reminded me of something that I would have found here at one of our local wineries um, if you like a sour punch that first like my sister loved it um, but if you like if you like on that first sip to get like a punch of sourness the red zin might be perfect for you but let me show you the other two bottles that I got Okay, so the first one I got is a red wine blend called New Crush. And I got a Chardonnay called Mad Love. Now when you are ordering these wines, you can tell them, or when you're ordering the subscription box, you cannot choose which wines you want, but you can tell them if you want all red, all white, or a combination of both. And the coupon code that I had um, is how I got the third bottle of wine and the second water bottle. Typically the subscription box is only going to come with two bottles of wine and then the little like gift set. Um, and I paid $324 for the full year subscription. Um, as far as do I think it's worth the cost, I think it's too early to tell. I want to give them another chance. I was not overly impressed with this box mostly because there was products in there in there that I'm probably not going to use but that is not the fault of the company um, they lived up to what they said they were going to provide and it's just a matter of personal preference um, I think that I'm excited to taste these other two wines like I said I didn't totally love the reds in but um, I'm really looking forward to trying this red blend and then I'll do another review when I get my second box in three months and let you guys know what I thought then. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more like subscription box openings. I'll try to be more, I'll try to have more self-control and not open them before I do the unboxing video but I'm not making any promises. Um, I'm just like a little kid at Christmas when something comes in the mail I really want to bust into it so but let me know if you guys uh, want to see more of these I recently signed up for boxy charm which is makeup but it's like full sizes instead of samples like the ipsy and the birch box um, I'm excited to do that um, so yeah, if, if you like those type of videos, make sure you subscribe because there will definitely be more coming. And if you have a wine subscription that you absolutely love, I want to know about it because I love me some wine. I specifically like dry wines. I love a Cab Sauv. Um, so yeah, I'm super curious to try out other subscription boxes and hear what you guys like. So that's it for this video. The next video is going to be another boutique haul. You guys loved that video that we did last time. So I'm just going to keep those videos coming for you guys. We're going to style some things and do some fun um, boutique haul videos. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.